What's that, Miami? You're inviting me to the sun, sand, and mixing in some world-class tennis? Uh, yeah. What up, Wynwood? This eclectic Miami neighborhood has officially announced itself as a hotbed of culture and is known for its artisanal restaurants and colorful murals painted by some of the coolest artists in the world. Case in point, remember him? <laughs> From Paris to Miami, Advantage Omar is becoming a six degrees. A friend of mine told me about this new twist on tennis that's taken Europe by storm. More than 25 million people is playing right now in the world and we have just came to the US. It, it was born in, in Mexico. But oh, really? Was, yeah. And it didn't catch on in North America? Not yet. Hold on a second. You guys have somebody from the USDA here. Yeah. So that's obviously a serious endorsement. Yeah. Most important country in the world is right now Spain. I'm Spaniard. What a surprise. Yeah. This dude Marcos is doing his very best at making paddle America's next favorite rec sport. That's it. Omar, that's it. Excellent. When I hold what? the racket, I think the racket is as long as a tennis racket. You have a lot of control. It's easy to learn. Even like somebody like me, yeah. for children, yeah. but somebody who has a knee problem, you can still play. That's it. It's not like you're playing tennis and you have to do too much overexposure on your, you know what I mean? Marcos. Thank you so much. Went to the 